This is uh, our training mock-up capsule of uh, unlimited hydroplane. And uh, the, the rationale and the use for this, we put it in a pool, we put a driver in it. They are, every year and a half or, uh, or so, they are required to use their own safety equipment to extricate and get themselves out and prove that they can get themselves out of an upside down flooded uh, cockpit. And obviously our divers, H1 divers are there to assist them and, and keep that in a, in a training modality and a training model. But uh, we use this frequently, it's scraped up and banged up, but we'll actually flip them around, disorient them, and then effect a rescue. And we do training for drivers, and we just did one last night, a training for divers who are out there on the rescue course that we'll be assisting uh, here in Gunnersville, the Gunnersville Rescue Squad, all of their divers uh, went through a training model where we put a, we put a one of our, uh, I, in fact, I played the dummy. We got in uh, and I uh, essentially was rescued by all of the divers out there and it was a great training opportunity. But, um, and I gave a lot of confidence to both my, both ourself as the rescue group here and the, the Gunnersville Rescue Squad and the divers that will be, uh, be out there on the race course. But um, just a great training mo model. Um, we open it up. We give the, the drivers familiarity on the aircraft latches and um, escape plan, if you will, to get out. So that's taking off the wheel. That's taking off our far point harness and um, affecting a rescue through the hatches and and so forth but we can do that in a train in a in a controlled way within the pool a little bit more dynamic when you get out in uh, low visibility water and on a real deal but uh, again h1 rescue is there to to assist a rescue uh, and gunnersville divers and rescue squad that's out there and we're we're ready to be there